Hey folks, it is Cal again, and today I'm doing yet another little project. And today's project is installing a oil uh, pressure transducer T-piece into my oil pump, which is a spare one here, so that I can monitor oil pressure whilst having the oil pressure switch installed. The reason I'm doing this is I have a Mishimoto uh, oil cooler sandwich plate installed replacing my old sandwich plate and the Mishimoto sandwich plate only has one 1 8th NPT um, port on it and I'm using that for temperature so in order to monitor oil pressure I had to find somewhere else to fit one and the location is here in the oil pump now for those of you who are really familiar with a Legnum or VR, Galant VR4 uh, is that you will realize this is the where the timing belt main sprocket goes around the camshaft at the bottom of the engine and so the oil pressure switch is just over here to the right this is a 1 8 BSPT thread so you have to make sure you don't get a 1 8 NPT thread uh, T-piece and the part you want if you buy in Australia is from Speco who also make VHT paints and it's part number 54762. You can find these on eBay as well, made from either brass or steel or aluminum. Aluminium. Um, they're sold all over the place. There are shorter ones. There's this. This is the most common size I've found, but there are shorter ones. These are supposed to thread in the whole way. I will check that on this oil pump because it's a spare. See how far it goes without damaging the threads. We'll see what happens. And here it is, here it is installed. So, nice and simple. We've got the existing oil pressure switch there. The oil pressure sensor facing down. This is the best way to route it. You'll find the cable for that runs down behind the bracket for the uh, pulley tensioner here. Runs underneath, I've zip tied it there to the bottom of the uh, AC compressor. And then at the moment it's running around into a, a split connector because what I've got here is a four wire cable coming in, three of which are used for the pressure transducer, which is a five volt reference transducer, and only two of which, which is the, uh, are used for the temperature probe, which you probably can't see. In fact, you cannot see that. I'm gonna have to turn the camera around. A, oh, it's really hard to see. There's a temperature probe in there in the Mishimoto oil cooler. That's a two wire probe. So the four wire cable, uh, the four wire cable is sharing the ground wires between these two sensors, but they have different uh, uh, effectively sensor wires. So yeah, all we have to do now um, is bolt the pulley back on. But what you do is make sure there's a decent amount of resistance when you put this back on. Um, use thread sealant. I use Permatex thread sealant. Its code in number is Permatex 56521. You put that on the threads just a little bit and what it does, it, it can hold over 100 psi. In, uh, in like two hours it can take 100 psi. It takes more pressure after that. Um, yeah, so the same on all these on the transducer. And what I've actually got done here to help a little bit is the car is jacked up one extra tooth on that jack stand than this jack stand. And the reason for that is basically any air bubbles in this are going to travel up it slowly and into the engine case rather than holding a trapped air bubble in here, which you don't want, right? You want to make sure this is always full of oil. It probably wasn't make a huge difference, but I'm just being cautious. Um, yeah, all we're going to do is put the pulley back on and we're done. Nice and simple. And here's just a quick short video of an operation. Plenty of clearance, no issues with it uh, draining oil. Pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that.